Well, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is reversing his widely criticized policy of sending senior citizens treated for COVID-19 to nursing homes. If a nursing home cannot provide care for a person and provide the appropriate level of care for any reason, they must transfer the person out of the facility. If they can't find another facility, they call the State Department of Health. All nursing home staff must now be tested twice a week. Uh, that's not just a temperature check. That is a diagnostic test. Joining us now to discuss is Dr. Niket Sampal, an internist and gastroenterologist. So, Dr. Sampal, um, what is your take on, on what their approach is now, sir? I actually think it's a wonderful idea. I do believe that um, if these kind of steps had been done earlier, uh, we could have made a big impact in the nursing homes. The way nursing homes work is their close proximity. Um, the patients there have multiple comorbidities, and by definition, they're unable to care for themselves. So in an effort to trace and have surveillance, the new CMS guidelines and the testing of staff now is important, but I do feel like we're a little bit behind the eight ball on this one. So do you feel like, in a sense, the elderly population, it wasn't, we didn't plan well enough or get ahead of this before coronavirus hit? It's really hard to say that as a Monday morning quarterback. Um, New York was essentially blindsided by this. Um, I worked for nearly 30 days in a row treating patients in this pandemic. And I know that we were relatively prepared. I do believe that if the administration had taken it more seriously in January, I think even states like New York and some of the more heavier hit places like Seattle and California could have maybe done more to address the more vulnerable populations. Um, in other words, what basically happened is we were taking it day by day and plans were changing as we learned more information. Had we been more um, prepared and had sort of a, a game plan that came from top, very, very top down, we probably could have made more of an impact. Is there a difference in the way that you treat a senior, somebody in a, in a home, a long-term care facility, and someone who is younger when, when both enter a serious uh, crisis uh, related to COVID? As a physician, our care is equal to both the young and the elderly. Um, we assess, we find out what the risk factors were, where the possible exposure came from, and then we address each organ system individually. I have taken care of patients who are in their 30s and 40s, and those who are in their 80s and 90s, and I've seen both positive and negative outcomes on both sides. Now, Dr. Sampol, how important is testing in regard to not only the elderly, but also uh, nursing home staff caring for them? I know Governor Cuomo was saying that now all nursing home staff has to be tested twice a week. Uh, do you think that's right. enough? It's a good start, right? I think it's a great, he's being very aggressive and he's being as aggressive as we need to. I think Dr. Fauci's plans are also excellent and what he's recommending is the right way. Our textbook of Harrison's, the one that we live by in internal medicine, has his name on the cover for a reason. Yeah, doctor, tell me this though. You've got most of the country, I was looking at a map that if you go uh, green being the best situation, yellow being, you know, cautious and red being, let's just say New York and that tri-state area. And most, should we be opening it up? And, and, and if so, what precautions would you take? So I think staged opening is something that we can have a lofty goal towards. But my concern is that by saying let's open up, what's happening is that it's galvanizing those people to protest to say let's open up and go back to the way life was before. Life is never going to be the way it was before until, as we've discussed before, we reach a positive exposure rate of 70 to 80 percent or we have a vaccination rate to create herd immunity. Otherwise, I think opening up too quickly, like we've seen in Germany, has led to spikes in cases. And we've also noticed that in the last few weeks with the weather warming in New York, we've noticed that there's a lot of people who are not wearing masks, social distancing, and hopefully hand hygiene is really being done. But we've noticed a few spikes coming through our emergency rooms as well. So staged opening is important, but it has to be done in a way that doesn't, A, give a false sense of security, but B, also keeps everyone safe, not just the vulnerable population. Dr. Fauci spoke today about just the importance of meeting those federal guidelines as states move forward to protect mm -hmm. the public. What were your thoughts on Dr. Fauci's uh, statements today? 
I think he's absolutely correct. Um, those guidelines, those metrics, none of the states are meeting them yet. Um, they're all taking lofty goals towards meeting them. Um, but they're there for a reason. We put into effect you know, walls and, and ways to protect ourselves for a particular reason. And in medicine, we work through algorithmically. Each step will then therefore have consequences. And when you take a step, it naturally has an outcome. Um, the things that he wrote are so that even though we do take steps towards potentially restarting the fire of our economy, which I know is a big deal and is a very important factor in this, um, it needs to be done in a way so that we have people to enjoy that economy. We've got about 30 seconds. You've been on the front lines, and I'm sure you watch conversations all day long on cable when you have the chance to see that. What do you feel people are unaware of or not talking about? I think the one thing that we're not talking about is the fact that um, the emotional impact of what has happened to us as Americans and as people. Um, 30, 40, 50, 60 days of isolation does play a role. We are all reeling from this from an economic standpoint. We're reeling from this from loved ones. And we're also reeling from this from an emotional standpoint. Um, I think we heard that this is the first time our species has had to deal with something like this in 50 to 100 years. And the emotional impact is going to last a lot longer. And it's going to take a lot longer to get past. Always a pleasure, Dr. Sampal. Thank you so much, sir, for talking with us.